Okay, so for week number one, we will do have orientation for the subject, the life and works of a set exam. In this orientation, we will talk about the course syllabus, your requirements, mode of delivery, grading system, your TLA and OBA for this week, and of course, your attendance. So to start this short orientation, let's do have this prayer. Let us all remember that we are in the most holy presence of God, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Direct, O God, we beseech Thee, all our actions by Your holy inspiration, and help us all by Your gracious assistance, so that every prayer and work of ours may begin with Thee and by Thee, be happily ended. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so first of all, I would like to welcome you again to Cavite State University, General Trias City Campus, and welcome to academic year 2020 to 2021. So since you are already a third year and a fourth year college student, na feel niyo na ba yung graduation or mas na feel natin yung pressure? Okay. So, I also like to introduce again myself. I am Mr. John Riel Banzon Labiang, but you can call me Sir Riel. Okay. So, I don't want to introduce myself more to you, so that's for you to find out. Bigay ko na lang yung consultation hours ko. So, in case na may mga questions kayo regarding sa activity or even in lesson, so pwede na kong kontakin. Sa time na to. So every Thursday, so from 2 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Yeah. Take note nyo na lang tong um, consultation schedule ko. Okay, next. So meron din tayong guidance and counseling program. So if you need help or you need someone to talk to, when it comes to your mental health. So, pwede nyo naman kaming kontakin. So, my consultation schedule every Monday from 6 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. If you are not available sa so day and time na to, pwede nyo kontakin yung ibang mga guidance facilitators natin. Okay? So now, let us proceed with our main topic, which is the course overview. So, this is very important for you to know. Okay, now let us proceed with the course syllabus. So before we proceed to discuss this course syllabus, let's do have your attendance first. So please comment down below your full name, sample your full name, and then your course and section. Okay, so, para saan ba si course syllabus? So, si course syllabus yung magiging guide natin for the whole semester. So, anong week na tayo? What will be our topic? What is our activity? What is our OBA? Kailan siya ipapasa? So, very important na magkaroon kayo ng course syllabus. After na mapanood tong orientation na, yun, na to, I want you na pumunta dun sa FD group natin. I will, I will upload the copy of course syllabus that's for you to download it and then para may guide kayo for the whole semester. Okay. So let us proceed with the course syllabus. So Cavite State University, General Tria City Campus, Department of Arts and Sciences, course syllabus for first semester, academic year 2020 to 2021 with the course code GNED9 and the course title the life and works of a series of type, lecture, credit units, three. So, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano nyo i-check kung ano yung gagawin natin every week. So, course description as mandated by Republic Act 
1425, this course coverage the life and works of the country's national hero, Jose Rizal. Among the topics covered are Rizal's biography and his writings, particularly novels Noli Metangre and El Filibusterismo, some of his essays and various correspondence prerequisites, none. So in case na ibagsak nyo, si GNED9, automatic, pwede nyo naman siyang kunin kung kailan siya available, siguro by next semester. Okay, so let us proceed dito. So here is our course coverage. So check nyo lang to, very important. Week number, kung makakita kayo dito ng 2 to 3, ibig sabihin, 2 weeks natin siyang aaralin or gagawin. So, intended learning outcomes, do not forget the ILO. Ito yung kailangan ma-meet ng isang estudyante. Topic, what will be our topic for this week? Teaching and learning activities or the TLA. Ano yung gagawin nating activity? Mode of delivery. So, mamimili kayo between mo module or online. Later, I will explain to you if much, much better ang module or online. Next, we have resource needed or resources needed, outcomes-based assessment or OVA, and due date of submission of output. I just want to remind you about the TLA and OBA. Ano bang, ano bang pinagkapareho at ano bang pinagkaiba nilang dalawa? When we talk about the TLA, siya yung gagawin mo. Siya yung magsasabi kung ano yung gagawin mo. Kung baga, sinasabi natin as your instructions or your direction, something like that. And of course, we have OBA. When we talk about OBA, ano yung ipapasa mo kay teacher? So si OBA, siya yung degradan ni instructor. For example, in week number one, ito yung ILO natin. So after the completion of the chapter, students will able to introduce oneself to the class, list down expectations for the course, remember course requirements and regulations in the new normal of module-based learning. So what will be our topic? Of course, ito yung ginagawa natin ngayon, introduction of the course, such as the course overview and also your requirements. What will be our TLA? Yan, pwede tayong mag-modular orientation for self-paced learning or virtual orientation of the course via Zoom. Pero yung ginawa ko ngayon, para mabalikan nyo, mapaulit-ulit nyo, or mas maintindihan nyo, nag-record na lang ako ng video to be uploaded in YouTube. So, anytime pwede nyo siyang balikan. So, regarding naman sa mode of delivery, so, dalawa lang naman yan. Number one, um, pipiliin nyo yung module or pipiliin nyo yung online. Pero may suggestion sa inyo, much better ang online. Why? When we talk about the module, kailangan mo pumunta ng school. Pupunin mo yung module natin. And then after that, babasahin mo siya. Tapos, gagawin mo yung activity at ipapasa mo rin yung activity online. So, since lahat tayo ay mabibigyan ng, uh, mabibigyan ng Gmail or account sa LMS ng CBS Humane, so, yun yung gagamitin nyo na pagpapasa ng mga requirements. So, parang in, in case, nag-online ka din. Pero pinagkaiba nila, kukunin mo lang yung lesson materials sa school, sa CBS Humane. So, kukunin mo siya every Thursday, my consultation schedule, from 2 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Unlike in online, na once na i-download siya yung materials ni instructor, automatic pwede mo na siyang i-upload. And then, i-save mo siya sa drive mo, basahin mo, gawin mo yung activity, ipasa mo sa LMS. Okay? Pero it's up to you pa rin kung gusto nyo ng module or online. Next tayo. So, what will be your OBA? Nakalagay dyan, you need to have one-page reflection paper for your attendance. 
So, sir, paano namin siya ipapasa? Gmail? Sa messenger mo? Ah, sige, papadaliin ko na lang yung trabaho niya with this one. For your uh, OBA for week number one, ang gagawin niyo na lang, um, i-chat niyo sa akin yung name, your course and section, and also your subject. And then after that, answer niyo lang yung TLA na i-discuss ko later. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng copy kung ano yung sasagutan niyo. Your reflection paper for week number one. Okay? So, chat na lang siya. Hindi na siya. Hindi na kayo magta-type sa Microsoft or hindi na kayo magsusunod sa papel. Chat niyo na lang for week number one lang muna. So, due date of submission, two days after the meeting. So, probably ang um, magiging due date natin dito sa Wednesday, day, Friday hanggang Friday. Once na mag-submit kayo sa messenger ng one-page reflection paper nyo, isasama nyo rin yung registration form. Maliwanag? Okay. Again, do not forget week number, ILO, topic, activity, and OBA. Very important din ang deadline ng submission. Next tayo, for week number two, let's make it very short, okay? So, this is our ILO. After the completion of the chapter, students will be able to, number one, explain the history of Rizal Law and its important. Number two, critically assess the effectiveness of the Rizal course. So, your topic, Republic Act 1425 for week number two. So, this will be next two weeks. What will be our activity? So, fishbone diagram, history of Rizal's law. So, what will be your OBA? So, ito yung ipapasa niyo sa akin. Fishbone diagram. Gagawin niyo siya for one week. Ipapasa niyo siya end of week two. So, pwede kayo magpasa kung ang ating class schedule ay Wednesday. Ipapasa niyo siya. Pwede niyo siyang ipasa ng Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, hanggang Wednesday ulit. Okay? So, mahaba yung time natin for you to have your, for you to have this activity. Next, for week 3, ano naman yung pag-aaralan natin? The Philippines in the 19th century as results context. Week number 4, Rizal's life, family, childhood, and early education. So, by the way, nga pala, may complete na ako na materials for this subject. And then, meron na din akong, bo, uh, meron na akong English and Filipino version. So, naisip ko talaga up until now if English or Filipino yung gagamitin natin video. But since yung na, nasa course syllabus natin ay English, automatic yung magiging exam natin that dito ay English version. And magbibigay ako ng module sa inyo na English version also. Pero most of them na mga instructors, mas pinipili nila yung Filipino kung paano ituturo ang Rizal. Because Rizal is, is Filipino. And aside from that, mas masarap siyang basahin kung Filipino language yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, I think I will give you both na lang. Bibigay ako sa inyo ng English version and bibigay ako sa inyo ng Filipino version. Pero, when we have our exam, English version yung gagamitin natin. Okay? Okay, next tayo, for week uh, 5 to 6, so we will talk about results, higher education, and life abroad. Okay? So I will not explain to you the TLA, what will be our TLA and OBA, that's for you to read. So mag-focus muna tayo sa week 1, and then 
by next week para hindi tayo maguluhan, I will explain naman yung week number 2 kung ano yung gagawin natin. So, huwag kayo mag-alala, lahat yan, i-explain ko ng maayos sa inyo. And once na may mga questions kayo, open naman si Sir anytime para sagutin yung mga questions na yan. Okay? Next, 7 to 8, we will talk about Rizal's life, uh, exile, trial, and death. And then, in week number 9, we will do have online midterm examination. So, uh, mag -e exam na tayo. I think we will do have LMS na din dito. So, inaayos pa yung account nyo, pero lahat kayo magkakaroon tayo ng access sa LMS ng CBS Human. Next, so week number 10, Annotation of Antonio Morgas Successes de las Islas Filipinas. In week number... Okay, in week number 11, we will talk about Noli Metangere. In week number 13 to 14, El Filibusterismo. 15, The Philippines a Century Hence. 16, Jose Rizal and Philippine Nationalism and National Symbol. And week number 17, Jose Rizal and Philippine Nationalism, Bayani and ba Kabayanihan. Okay. And last, in week number 18, we will do have final examination, I think via Zoom to. So, magkakaroon tayo ng debate. If Rizal, okay, Rizal versus Bonifacio as their national hero and why. Okay, so you need to have your research na din kung sino yung pipiliin niya between Rizal or Bonifacio. Siguro bunutan tayo to this one. Okay? So next natin, the grading system. So what will be our grading system? So same pa rin siya, 50% for midterm and 50% for finals. Activity, 20%. Portfolio, okay, this will be your project, okay? Uh, later on, I will explain to you what will be your project. I will make it simple, very simple, kasi due to pandemic, of course, kailangan natin ng, uh, kailangan natin pasintihin lahat ng bagay. So, 10%, your midterm exam will be 20%. Activity for finals, 20%. Portfolio, 10%. Or project. Midterm exam will be 20%, a total of 50%. So 50 plus 50 is equal to 100. Okay. So for trans, uh, standard transmutation table for all courses, so once we begin, ko kayo ng 1, that is 96.7 to 100, 1.25, 93.4 to 96.6, 1.50, 90.1 .6, 1 to 93.30, 1.75 is 86.7 to 90. Thus, uh, that is 83.4 to 86.6. 2.25, that is 80.1 to 83.3. 2.50, 76.7 to 80. 2.75, 73.4 to 76.6. Uh, tres, that is 70 to 73.3. So, 3. I 70%, so this will be our passing, kumbaga passing score natin, pass, passing percentage natin. And then, below 50 will be 5. Hindi ako nagbibigay ng 4, okay? That is INC incomplete. Meron ka lang need na ipasa para maging 70%, okay? So, yun. So, let's talk about the TLA na. Di ba sabi ko sa inyo, i-chat nyo na lang sa akin. So, uh, lagay nyo yung name, course, and section. And also, pakisama dito yung subject natin. Sock size 6 or GNET 9, the life and works of a Sarizal. So, for this one, copy and paste tayo ah. And then, yeah. So, copy natin to. What is are your expectations on the subject? 
what is are your expectations on your instructor chapter 7 and what is are your expectations on yourself after taking this subject so sana uh, maging honest tayo sa pagbibigay natin or pag answer natin ng TLA so this is our TLA again I instruction so what will be your OBA one page reflection paper for your attendance. Kasama ulit dito yung range form kapag ipapasin nyo sa akin. Due date of submission of output two days after watching this orientation. So, hanggang Friday siya. Maliwanag? Okay. So, last one. How to submit your activity? Okay. Pwedeng sa Gmail ko. Here's my Gmail. So, john.labiang at cbsu.edu.ph Pero much better if through messenger na lang. So, ayan. So, I, ho I hope na nasa GC kayo para updated kayo. And andun kayo sa FB group. So, after ma-watch tong orientation ito, make sure na nag-comment down below ka for your attendance. Na ipasa mo yung TLA mo or yung OBA mo. And last one, after nyo mapanood tong orientation na to, video orientation na to, magpo-post ako sa FB group and then comment naman kayo ng one question na gusto nyo itanong sa akin. Okay? So, hindi na siya sa GC kasi matatabunan lang. Doon na lang. So, for that, May attendance na kayo for week number one. So, kahit anong question, siguro, halimbawa mga, uh, Sir, magbibigay po ba kayo ng, i-extend niyo po ba yung time in case na ganito, and etc. Kayo na bahala sa question. Okay? So, yun lang for this orientation. Uh, iwan ko na lang sa inyo to. So, keep learning, embrace new experiences. See opportunities and also surprise yourself. So thank you and God bless. So good luck. I hope na kahit na malayo tayo sa isa't isa, I hope na ginagawa nyo yung uh, mga activities na ibibigay ni sir. Okay, so iwasan natin yung copy and paste na lang natin. So to end this short orientation, Let's do have the CBSU here.